firstly, we'll have a look at the components. And first, we have off the rank, is the IP68 rated load cell. It is hermetically sealed stainless steel and should operate in all harsh environments. You can just notice the ball and cup arrangement sitting in the top, which is also hardened stainless steel and allows for the self-centering of these top plates once it's three meters. You can see on the side here location bolts, which is how the mount comes locked up. The frame of the mount, if you look through the channel in here, you can see the anti-capsizing locking mechanism, which clearly stops the leg from being lifted out in any eventuality. To actually remove it, it has to be rotated through 90 degrees and lifted clear. You can clearly see the top hardened stainless steel mounting cup. The main part of the frame, you can see through to the load cell mounting block, the anti-capsizing ring and locking mechanism. The silo leg is bolted above this top plate and located through two bolt holes at the front. The base of the load cell mount is mounted by three lugs located around the side. The reason we, it uses three is for much easier positioning and self-centering on the floor, um, which is very hard to get using four location lugs. The technician then removes the bolts from the side. These bolts will be used again, but the nut and washers won't. They're just to help with location. Bolts are removed. Load cell, including ball and cup, is now located under the leg and using the bolts is uh, slid down through the centre of the cell and using the nuts which are self located underneath the base of the plate it ties the bolt down as you can see once the bolts are completely down and tight which as stated earlier you only need a spanner um, you can now see that the leg of the silo is freestanding and rotates on the ball and cup nice and freely. The anti-cap sizing still is in play so the leg of the silo will never lift cleanly off and as soon as you drop it down it self-centers due to the ball and cup assembly. That is a lever mount installation. I've done these vessels many times in the past and this would have made the job a lot easier.